Ah, so it was ice cream for dinner yesterday, eh? You know, I've always wanted to ring one of these. Right, that's it. Poker man in the ribs, let's see how you do without it. Oh, all right. You can have it back if you promise to use it wisely. Would you believe he gets a full tenure for this? A very, very aged old wizard with a beard used mainly for collecting tobacco stains. Hey! <laughs> a girl! What's a girl doing in here? I'm not a girl! Why are you... why are you wearing a dress? It's a wizard's robe, not a dress! <laughs> I knew a girl's dress once. Splendid, yes. Very good at pickling. Very good at pickling eels, she was. Well, I once knew a girl too, of course. Of course? Oh, why are you of course? A fellow like you, you ought to be out and about, exploring a world of adventure. Uh, wine, women and, and pickles. Look, I am out and about. Well, you can't be too good at it if you're already off course, young air freshener. Look, no one's off course. I just use the phrase as a pleasantry, a manner of address. Pickling? Oh, how fascinating. Pickle? Who's pickle? No one's pickled. You started it. I don't even like pickles. What? Oh, they were wonderful pickles. How dare you cast me in, in, in those persons on, on, on them? I've lost it. What were we talking about again? Um, pickles? What's pickle? What? Hmm? Well, what do you mean? Well, the eels were pickled, weren't they? What? Pickled eels? I told them to lock that liquor cupboard. Go on, boy, get after them. No, oh, no, pickles, not pickles. Pickles? Oh, try the kitchen. Get out. Stop wasting my time. So, what happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. That's just the point. No young twerps like you think they can come in here, rubbish our women and, and, and steal all our pickles. Steal? Now do I look like a thief? My stick. They all want my magic stick. So be off with you, you, you dastardly overcleaner. No, no, look. I don't want your wretched stick. So, so it's the pickles you're after then, is it? You devilish young trouser. Well, I'm on to you, you know. I'm on to you, you young bookcase. Now look, this is not the problem that I wanted to address. I just want to find somebody who can talk a little sense. Sense? Perfumes? Oh, I'll not have it. Oh, no, sir, I won't dally with women folk on the premises. It's against the rules. Otherwise, we'd, we'd, we'd all be doing it. You young bathrobe. I have you defrocked for this. Look, I haven't done a thing, honestly. What? Well, well, well uh, how can you be a man of the world if you never sample the finer things in life? Oh, women! Wizard stays, pickles. Well, if I go and do that, you said you'd defrock me. It won't do, it just won't do. Young tweezers like you coming in here and, and taking off their frocks, I, I won't stand for it. I, 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 this city is getting into, into a fine old pickle. Oh, please don't get started on the pickles again. Pickles? You don't eat pickles if you're wearing a dress. You'll stay in the hem. Why are you wearing a dress? This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. A bearded old wizard. So, you're the bursa. What does a bursa do exactly? Well, it's a very important job. Accounts, expenditure, occasional bouts of irrationality, the assessment of grants. Well, it, it sounds a bit... well, boring, doesn't it? That's the job's main attraction, my surgical sock. These tenures are for life. So, since wizards are naturally extremely long-lived, that means the only way to get promoted is to assassinate your superiors. They've been popping off like mayflies around here for some seasons. 
Sometimes we've got, wait for it, more wazards than wizards. <laughs> They're in no danger from me. I never really thought about promotion. Wazards, you see? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh well, my post is safe though. Who wants to claw their way up to the top only to become an accountant in a silly hat? Mark my words, folding trouser press. Survival is all a matter of identifying your proper niche. Preferably a niche well removed from anything anyone else finds desirable. So you're the, uh... The Versa. Oh, thank heavens. I'd hate to have forgotten the name of someone useful. Look, you're the Bursa, aren't you? That's right. I do the finances, books and things, and I'm quite totally insane, you know. Any calculations you need, I'm your giant frog. But that's just accounting. Surely to hold a major position in a wizard's university, you must be able to perform magic. After all, that's what the place is all about. Magic is all very well, young sink disposal unit, but mathematics is the more powerful art. Oh, come on. You don't believe me? Very well, Mr. So-called Scented Furniture Polish. Care to watch while I make your grant disappear? Right, well, don't be a stranger. Cheers. Yet another bearded old wizard. Ah, a swamp dragon if my eyes don't deceive me. I thought these things were filled with explosive gas. All right. Ah, let's see. Wildebeest baked in a poodle's eye sauce. Newt's liver pate with pickles and cream. Ex senior wrangler legs in garlic butter. I do hope that door gives a clear run to the latrine. So look, as an aged wizard, I mean, you know, as someone who's climbed to the very depths, is there any advice you feel you might like to pass on? I mean, a few words of guidance, perhaps the one who hopes to follow in your pointy footsteps. Ah, yes. Well, young fellow in the wallpaper, well, I'd say that of all lessons in life, always learn to expect the unexpected. Hmm. But if I expect it, then it isn't unexpected. Eh? Well, by definition, it can't be unexpected if it actually is expected. Quite right, my boy. Well spotted. In which case, my advice to you is to always expect the expected. Is that clear? I expect so. So, your faculty heads, the giants of wizardry, this is it. This is as good as life gets. Contemplating promotion? No, I'm contemplating a change of career. Listen, one thing I've always meant to ask, these, uh, these dresses we wear, are they, um, are they strictly necessary? Eh? The robes, lad, are symbolic of our dedication. You see, this is not so much a calling, a, a profession, as a condition of mind. By wearing long robes, we imply a somnambulistic state. An attitude in which we walk dreamily through this world with our minds occupied by higher things. Right, like, say, as high as this hat. Well, the hat, too. Its point employs loftiness of thoughts. Or it might imply that we should have let our mothers keep on dressing us. What's more, it keeps young whippersnappers like you from running off. Eh? Do you want to walk the streets looking like a refugee from a somewhat suspicious pencil factory? Point taken. Is this all you do all day? Just sit and make a public nuisance of yourself? I'm reserving my powers. What powers? Well, for a start, I can read your mind. Really? What do you see? Not much. You must have the big print version. Well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. Good day, sirs. Is it? <laughs> so you say. What with the bottom falling out of the tapioca market. He's off again. Pass the dried frog pills. Laugh away, old boy, Val. It's all this dragon business. That's what's doing it. Snatching tapioca out of the mouths of the deserving elderly. Dragons. Dragons in the town. A likeless story. <laughs> Swamp dragons, he means? No, a real dragon. Not one of those little marsh tiddlers. Poppycock, there's no such thing. Dragons only exist if you believe in them. I don't believe in them. They don't believe in me. So we're both happy.
Another busy day in the faculty, gentlemen? We are cogitating. I hope I heard that right, said in a knowing tone of voice, nudge nudge. Cogitating, my lad, is that process by which the wise make space inside their minds for more ideas. You make more space for ideas by sitting on your backside sipping a cup of milky tea. Hit him. Hit him. My boy, ideas are normally sold by value, not by weight. It's best to let them settle so you can find more room in the top. We have wisdom and you do not. For instance, this is the action of a clever man. What's so clever about writing down the word monkey? 